having a well-organized folder structure can really help us to go a long way in our React project. The official React documentation didn't really provide us an official guideline on how to structure our project, so we are free to use any sort of files and folders convention as we see fit. Now I'm going to show you the typical way on how I would structure my React project. First and foremost, in the SRC folder, I would have a components folder. This is the folder where I put in all the reusable DOM components in our app. The components that we put inside here should be generic and not specific to any particular page. At the moment, we have a navfile component with a modular CSS file. As you can tell, most components will have their own CSS file attached in the same folder. And as our application grows, it could get quite messy. So sometimes it makes more sense for us to create a separate folder just for the component. Let's do that for our navbar component. Once we have created a folder, we can put all the navbar related components inside this folder. For example, the navbar link, navbar logo, so on and so forth. Technically speaking, I wouldn't consider navbar as a reusable component. A navbar is really part of our application's layout. So it's not so appropriate to put the navbar component inside the components folder. We'll move it out later. And the same for the rig role component that we created in a previous episode. These components are rather specific, so it makes sense for us to create another folder for them. I will consider them as smart component, and typically I'll create a new folder called containers, where I put in all the smart components in here. Now, as I mentioned just now, the rig role component deserves to be inside this folder. We'll move it across to this folder now. Containers are really components that are designed specifically for a page, and we rarely need to reuse them. And the next folder that I would create is called pages. This is where I define the pages in my app, and the name of the components here are closely related to the URL in our app. For example, we might want to create a home page and also a contact page, and when we visit slash home, our app will simply render the home component, and similarly, when the user visit slash contact, our app should render the contact component. Whoops, seems like I put a pages folder in the wrong directory. Let's move it out. Okay, the next thing I would have is the layout folder. Layouts, in short, are the wrapper around everything that we want to include in every single pages in our app. In a typical app, we would have three different layouts. The app layout, the public layout, and the admin layout. App layout is the layout where the user would see after they have logged into the app. And the public layout is the layout where the user would see as a public visitor. The public layout will fit for pages like the login page, the sign up page, and the landing page. The admin layout is for internal use and typically would be drastically different to the app layout. Anyway, in each of these folder, we should create a layout wrapper component where we define what should be in each of these layout. The nav file that we created in the previous episode belongs to the public layout, so we'll move it inside the public folder. And now let's create our public layout component. In the public layout, we should have a few things here. The navbar, the main content body, and also a footer. For the navbar, we can simply import our navbar component. And for the body, we can simply load props.children. We don't have a footer yet, so I will leave this section empty. And once we're done with the layout, we should wrap all the pages that we intend to use inside the public layout with our layout component. That includes the contact page and also the home page. Okay, let's move on. We can also create a new folder called utils, which is mainly for utilities in our app. Typically, I'll put in all the helper functions that I need inside this folder. For example, authentication helpers or date helpers, which help us to format the date inside our application and other miscellaneous things like that. And sometimes we would have a bigger operation or a certain module that we don't really know where to put them at. For example, the logic to calculate the geolocation or a custom library that compresses images on the front end. In that case, I'll create a new folder called services and the services folder will contain a lot of other subfolders where each of them represent a module that we can use across our app. By definition, the utilities folder and the services folder are fairly similar. In general, services are bigger than utilities. All right, now let's zoom out for a bit and take a look at our current folder structure. The relationship between pages, containers, and components are like our human body. 
components are very similar to body cells and containers are like organs and pages are like systems. So a group of components will form a container and a group of containers will form a page. The services and utilities folder are places where we put in additional logic so our React component can be less cluttered. I hope that gives you a better idea on how to structure your next React project. Alright, key takeaways for this lesson. Components are like body cells. They are generic and can be used across the whole app. Containers are like organs, they are specific to a page, and pages are like body system where they are composed of multiple containers. A typical app has three layouts, the public, app, and admin layout. We should wrap a page in different layout depending on the use cases. That's it for now and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.